of my ancestors. Peace forever and always. Welcome to another uh, edition, an exciting edition <laughs> of the Reality Stuff on Earth. I am your host, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ron. I want to bring these words to us in the most humane manner as possible because it is not my intent to hurt no one's feelings. It is not my intent to be disrespectful. But the reality is sometimes truth hurts. We don't want to hear that our husband is cheating on us. We don't want to hear that our child is about to be convicted of murder and going to prison for the rest of his life. We don't want to hear that the reason why we didn't get that promotion is because we were black. And we believe that things have changed. We don't want to hear truth because truth hurts. And many of us, instead of just accepting reality, we go into a state of denial or we attempt to leave our reality by using drugs and alcohol. Or we eat ourselves to death. Whatever, whatever our fancy of self-destruction may be. So I want to make perfectly clear that it is not my intent to hurt people's feelings. Matter of fact, don't you know, in my thinking and in my research and looking at uh, certain subject matters, when you use, when you are being rational, when you use common sense and reason, and logic, it hurts my feelings too. But I have to look over my own personal emotions and what I personally might want because the most important thing is that we accept our reality and even though truth hurts, we got to learn how to accept it because it's better to hurt now than become in a worse situation later. When we hurt or when the body hurts, when you feel pain, when you feel pain, it's a warning that something is wrong. There's an injury. There's something in your body internally. Something is malfunctioning when you hurt. So when I tell you these things, and you hurt and you get upset, then instead of being angry and shutting yourself off, you should look for what is really causing the pain. And what is really causing the pain is the truth. And you will continue to hurt because the truth is not going to go nowhere. You can shut this video off, but sooner or later it's going to appear again. And it's going to keep appearing because the days of lies, the days of falsehood, it's over. It's over. If you are a white man, telling lies. Your day is over. If you're a black man telling lies and being deceitful, it's over. Some of us are not trying to tell lies. We're not being on purpose. We're not being deceitful. But it makes no difference. That's over. It's time for us to really find truth and deal with things in our reality exactly the way they are. And that's what I represent. Because it's not about what I want. 
Because if I told you what I really want, <laughs> so it's not about me. It's about us as a human family, not just black people, but we as a human unit. It is what's best for us. Because what the thing called white supremacy must be broken once and for all. And our behaviors will continue that sad hundreds and hundreds of years legacy. We must break the back of it once and for all. So, this is the beginning of the end for white supremacy. Please bear with me. Again, I don't want to hurt your feelings. And I respect everybody. But we must look at things the way they are. And instead of this fantasy, fictional world, brought to us sometimes through religion, sometimes through politics and society in general. Because they have a agenda. And it's not in your best interest. It's in the best interest of their survival. The survival of that religion or that political party or what society is used to. Because society and religion and politics don't like change. Not change that will exclude them. Because that's what's happening. All the things that we used to know and used to love, that's about to come to an end. And they know it. So these systems and the people who are in charge of these systems are holding on for dear life. But you're not going to be able to hold on too much longer. Because the younger people who think better, who not a slave to religion, not a slave to political dogma, or what is popular in society, they might be victims, victims of it right now. But as soon as the condition ripens, fruit is usually not eaten until it is ripe. And this fruit, is slowly, slowly ripening. That's why you can't get rid of Angel Snuff Nuff 7. That's why you can't do nothing with Angel Snuff Nuff 7. Because it's not about me. I'm just a tool used by creation. Some of y'all said a tool used by, uh, by God. However you want to look at it. The time is up for these things that have not brought us nothing but confusion, chaos, mayhem, and senseless and cause senseless murder of millions. Your time and those who control these religious systems and political systems and the popular filth of society. Your days are numbered. And there's nothing you can do. Because your number is up. And like all things, must come to an end. So with that said, let me go ahead and get into uh, the uh, meat of what I want to speak with us today. And the subject is... Can basically, can you be a black person, love white people, but still love black folks? Can you, basically what you're saying is, can water and oil mix? I guess I said that correctly. But anyway, let us, let us listen to what I have to say before you judge me. Listen. I 
want to begin like this. Now you might not like it, but race mixing, any type of mixing by species, and I'm going to leave on this note, it's an unnatural behavior. It's an unnatural behavior. You don't like it, but it's true. And I'm going to show you in nature why it's true. Hold on, go on to the next video. Race mixing is an unnatural behavior. And, I, and before I continue, I want to make something very, very clear. I don't care what you do. That's your business. I'll still be your brother and your friend. I don't care. That's your business. But my job is to warn you and to tell you. So you can't say in English because English is what you know. So you can't say, well, I didn't know. No, what you're going to say is, I didn't listen. Because I got my own thing. The lies sounded good to me. And I'm selfish and I'm only thinking about myself. I don't care nothing about nobody else or the effects of my actions upon we as a people. That's what you're going to say. But don't say that you didn't know because now you know. I love my brothers and sisters that's involved in an interracial relationship. That don't bother me. I don't represent no religion. I don't represent no type of, some type of black supremacy group or anything. I don't care. But I'm going to tell you the truth. And if you like it or you don't like it, that's your business. I don't claim to be a prophet. I don't claim to be a savior. That's on you. I'm just a one. I'm just a person. If you stand in the street and I'm telling you, hey man, there's a car coming out the street. If you listen, that's cool if you don't. You the one gonna get run over by the car, not me. So the buck falls on you. Because everything that is presented on the route of this temple comes from logic. Common sense, reason, being rational. That's why you can't do nothing with me. You have been lied to and deceived. And you've been used by others smarter than you for an alternative purpose. And you allow yourself to voluntarily fall into their trap. Let me continue. Race mixing is an unnatural behavior. And we're gonna, I'm gonna give you this for an example. In nature, a female is supposed to choose the best male to be the father of her children, her babies. So when you look at a female pigeon or a female uh, goat or a female whatever female, unless they have been tainted, they have been disturbed by a human being. But if you look at animals that's in the wild that have not been affected by people, you will see that the female attempts to find the best male she can to father her babies. Why? Because she's looking out for future generations. Because if that male is strong, if he shows that he is smart, then he'll be able, in his sperm, in his DNA, he'll be able to pass out those traits down to, to the babies. And these are very important as far as survival is concerned. 
This is a survival mechanism. The more tools that a female can place into her DNA, the better chance this particular species will continue to thrive on this planet. When the species is unable to evolve or gain traits, certain traits in order to survive on this planet, then they become extinct. And we should know, because y'all ladies out there, y'all women, a great majority of you choose the worst males to have babies by. And we and you see the result. And then choosing the best, the worst males, you produce the worst children. And the worst males also will take off and leave you to raise the worst children by yourself. Thus, it should not be no shock that we live in the society that we live in because anybody can live with anybody. There is no because of love. Love is nice, but you also got to look at what is best for your baby, the type of baby that you want to produce. What is best for the nation? What is best for your people? You will get pregnant by a dope fiend. You will get pregnant by an alcoholic. You will get pregnant by a fool. And then you think you're supposed to get the best results. Surely we are messed up in our head. Then you got the nerve to come to me and tell me how wrong I am. I'm looking at the results of your foolishness. <laughs> calm down, calm down. I'm preaching, not yelling. And if you are afraid of somebody preaching, then I suggest that you go elsewhere. Because that's what you're going to get here. Because this makes me full of fire. I like talking about the real truth. Because it's not just for me. I mean for you, it's for me too. Even within the same species, you do not see animals mixing. That's a rare thing. It's very rare that you will see an animal in the same species mix, let alone if the animals are outside their species. It's an unnatural behavior. It's an unnatural behavior because the animal, by instinct, wants to protect who they are, their DNA, to, to mix with another species, even though you're in the same species, which you mess with your DNA, that which makes you what you are. Do you understand? <coughs> Do you hear what I'm saying to you? There are things related to who you are. If you allow your DNA to be tainted. See, evolution, being on this planet, has given all of us different traits. Listen to me. It is true. That all people came from the black man. There's no doubt about that. So we are similar. We are in the same species, so to speak. But as time goes on, I am me where I'm at. Black in Africa, under the heat of the sun. You are who you are. In the caves of Europe, out of the sun in the cold. We are two extremes. Then we have those that's in the middle. But I'm me. So when I allow the person from the cold mess with the heat, somebody got to give up something. Let me tell you all this, because maybe you don't know. The reason why the European Caucasians created white supremacy is because they realize 
once they began to come up out of Europe, they knew that their DNA was weak. They knew that these darker people that's out here, if they allowed the dark people to integrate with them, they will go out of existence. And that's true. You can experiment yourself with some roaches. You know you got roaches in your house. <laughs> some of y'all do. Or buy you some guppy fish. Any kind of creature that multiplies quickly. And you can get generation after generation in no, no, uh, you can get a house fly. What they call it? The fruit fly? Get you some light fruit flies and get you some dark fruit flies and let them intermix. This is, I have nothing to do with it. But you'll, pretty soon you'll find out that you don't have no more light fruit flies no more. The albino and the white fruit flies are gone. This, the European Caucasians knew. Time is running out. Hold on, y'all. That's just a short experiment. Just to want you to prove my point. That's the reason why white supremacy was designed. To keep as much as possible the light mixing with the dark. And even today, they know Caucasian leadership they know, and they have a fear. They do not want this race mixing because they will go extinct. And if you are in your right mind, listen to me again. And if you are in your right mind, you want to protect your DNA. You want to protect who you are. But if you are a slave, <laughs> if you come from up out of slavery, your mentality is to protect your master's DNA. To do that which is good for him and deny yourself who you are. Because the purpose of a slave is to serve his master. The purpose of a slave is not to serve himself. So you have a slave mentality. Because a free human being, a free animal, wants to, to protect his, his or her DNA. I love my ancestors. I love my blackness. I love who I am. Why would I want to taint it? When you give people names, you give them names to bring them into your family. I don't see black people naming their babies after Chinese people. Because you know you're not Chinese. But you have no problem with these European names that you know that the white man forced on your people. A name places you into a family and it also describes. When I said orange, you don't expect to see an apple. Because the purpose of naming this particular item was to, to give it a description so you know, have an idea of what somebody was talking about. But if they don't see black people's face, those of us who are born in America, they think they're looking for a Caucasian. But see, we were property. Just like that dog or that cat or that squirrel that you got at home as a pet. You named it because you is massa. And that's what the white man done to us. Made pets out of us. We became his animals, his beasts of burden. And we supposed to be free. And we continue to act like slaves. His beasts of burden. And some of y'all, it's good that y'all got white people named because you act like slaves. That's why I call many of you dark Europeans because you still had a slave mentality. And you still act like a slave. You don't act like no free person. 
because free people are free out of a protector's DNA. But you run into your massa. You run into the children of the oppressor. Well, Billy didn't do nothing. His family wasn't part of slavery. I just, I love Billy. <laughs> I can't help who I fall in love with, Billy's, Billy's wife. He didn't have nothing to do with. <laughs> Y'all sound so crazy. People in their right state of mind, like white folks are, and anybody, and animals, live to protect their DNA. They don't run around trying to taint it. When you mix your DNA with somebody else's, first of all, your DNA, who you are, was developed from periods of time, designed for a certain condition, and environment. It makes you who you are. When you mix your DNA with something else outside of who you are, first of all, the first thing that happens when you mix yourself with something outside of your DNA, you are no longer you. You become something else. And in dog breeding, they call it, you become a mutt. And mutts are not wanted. Because mutts look confused. They don't have no place in life. They have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now, myself, as far as a dog is concerned, I like mutts. We are not mutts. But we are different species. We have similarities, but we're not the same. And the lion will tell you that you're the same because he is the one benefit. Because the European is not trying to be African. You trying to be, matter of fact, you are him. Somebody was talk, telling me about black culture. There is no black culture. How is it going to be black culture when you don't know who you are? The only thing you know is what white folks have taught you. You're not trying to learn about no Africa and our people. You have no love. When you talk about going on vacation, you want to go to Paris. You want to go to London. Because you belong to your master. You're still a slave. Slaves don't protect their DNA. Slaves only live to serve their masa and make sure that their masa is taken care of. And some of y'all so pitiful. Because you lonely. And your booty hot. You got to have somebody up inside your vagina. You got to have somebody sucking on your penis. You don't care. You, I don't want to die old and lonely. Animals do it all the time. Because they don't want to take their DNA. And that's very rare. It's an unnatural behavior. And a slave is unnatural. Because it's not natural for nobody to serve somebody else like that. You was conquered. You was beaten. You was forced. Because nobody naturally going to do that. But uh, clearly it must be natural to some of y'all. Because y'all can't wait for some white man to climb between your legs. Or climb between some white woman's legs. Y'all feel great pride. Because that's getting, that's, that's getting you so close to your masa. That's what you live for. That's what you die for. Then you talk about you black and not black. Because black people protect their DNA, who they are. You're not black, you're dark European. But you run around talking about I'm black, you don't know. That ain't what black, study what blackness is. Go back to the 60s and listen to those teachings of where blackness come from. 
It don't teach nothing about laying up with the oppressor's children. Where you getting that from? Black culture. You damn sure don't represent no black culture. You represent what the white folks, these Europeans, have given you. You so in love. You don't care about yourself because like you're still a slave. You live for them and not yourself. You don't care about your DNA. You belong, still belong to your mask. The white man created white supremacy to protect himself from going extinct. He's now using interracial relationships to trick you. Also, he knows slowly but surely he's going from being uh, the majority in power to a minority. So he's slick. He wants to go into the womb of the black woman so he can live. So even though, like the white fruit fly, he might go extinct physically, he will go into your womb, black woman, so he can live. And he will produce children. And some of them exist today. They have dark skin, but it's him. You don't understand what you're messing with. It's way beyond your comprehension. But believe me, those who are in power and influence, they understand exactly what I'm talking about. They hope you don't listen. You're being used. Because he know you lonely. He know you weak in the mind. He know you don't have no loyalty to your own black self. He's like Dracula. I'm biting you in your neck. Draining in your blood. So I can live. <laughs> Going on to the next one, y'all. Hold on. How? How can you talk about loving your black self or black culture. But you want to destroy your DNA. Your DNA is what makes you black. The children you produce is going to be tainted. They're not going to be black. When we all mixed up, we black. As far as anybody's concerned, it's about what you look like. If you think you're a bunch of crazy hillbilly white boys got in a truck right now and hey, hey Billy, hey y'all, y'all wants to go hang us a nigga? When they see me, there might be a whole lot of Caucasian blood in me. I don't know. But when they see me, the only thing they see, there's a nigga. They're not gonna grab me and say, now, uh, how much of how much of you is uh Caucasian? How much of you is Asian? Ain't nobody gonna give a damn about stuff like that. You go by what we look to look like and who you are. But that's what we are. Those of us who are born in the city of slaves, due to the fact that the white man raped black women, and the fact that we can produce lighter colors anyway, we are who we are. You know that we black. You want to use try to find any excuse not to be black. You black for the time being. That's the best description of us at this time. Because really we're beyond that. That what makes us special because we are everybody. <laughs> we are. We are the world, black man and woman of America. We are the world. Thank you, Michael, for and, and Lionel Richie for making that song. You didn't know it, but you were describing those of us who were born dark in America, descendants of slaves. We are the world. His world is going down. It's falling apart. Why would you want to taint your DNA with the people whose time is up? It's not my fault, it's their fault. Because they screwed it up. What is the result you think is going to happen when you enslave people? When you murder people for their land, when you lie, break, and deceive, and become material and greedy for material wealth. What do you think the result going to be? That time is going out. You and I are from innocence. We are victims. And it's time for you to 
rise. And he know that. That's why he want to rise with you. And he want to try to rise by getting into the womb of the black woman. And you, ha, 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 I just love him. We can love, I can love black people and white people. Please. You look so silly. You're being used and don't even know it. Because they know how weak you are. You're not like the old black woman from back in the day. She supported her black man because she knew her man was under attack. And she knew her man was destroyed. That black woman stayed with us. That's why I'm going to defend black women with my life if necessary. Because the black woman stood with us. Y'all younger women, black women, or dark Europeans, I really prefer to say, you don't have that loyalty because you got a good job. Because ain't no white man calling you no niggas every day. So you don't feel that oppression. You don't feel nothing. Things have changed. How the hell you tell me how things have changed? Turn on the TV. Everything I see is white. Words are changing. When I look at the House of Representatives, it's all white. I don't see no change. What change? What is this change you're talking about? Black people still get sent to jail on false charges. Every time you turn around, there's some black man because of DNA or some other evidence. They've been locked up for 30 years. They was innocent. They knew they was innocent when they put them behind bars. What you mean things have changed? No. Nothing has changed. That's how they play the game. Instead of lynching you, they'll put you in jail almost for the rest of your life. That's what they try to do to me. I didn't do nothing. False charges. They use their criminal justice system. So you really think that all these black folks in these prisons, jails, and mill institutions, you really think all of them is guilty of these crimes that they were charged with? Then you're a damn fool. We, we are 13% of the population of America, but we over 50% in these jails and middle institutions, prisons. Come on. Something's wrong here. So you mean to tell me white folks is the majority of people in this country? And they have a very low rate of being a... Because they good? They good? And righteous and holy? Oh, come on. No. They're not going to do them like they do us because they hate us and you want to go open your legs and let this white guy come into the new world he already messed up the old world his world is doing up y'all don't come here you don't understand you just you just living your life that's what you do I'm just living your life watching these old crazy avatar and all these old fictional stories fairy tales fantasy and fairy tale. You all caught up in religious dogma. Keeping you drunk. Drunk on religion. Drunk with alcohol. Drunk with putting a penis in your mouth. Drunk with licking vagina and all other kinds of vile filth. So you can't see nothing. You don't know how to use your brain. You listen to your vagina and your penis. Damn. Woo! Y'all need to get it together! You need to be around somebody got some sense! I got a little sense! I'm not bragging, but I got a little bit! How do you benefit? When you race mix, you're taking a chance! In your DNA, you are introducing illnesses, physical illnesses that that won't, that probably wouldn't affect you otherwise, because you already been through certain things in evolution. So, if you notice, a lot of these children are suffering from all kinds of these different ailments. Some of these ailments we never heard of or can't even pronounce. Also, when you race mix, not only are you going to suffer physical ailments, 
but also you're going to suffer behavioral problems. <laughs> if you're not taking none of this into consideration, the only thing you're thinking about is quitting your sexual carnal desire. Because that's what you've been trying to do, to be a tool used by somebody. You're not looking at the overall picture. You're only looking about what you want. And what you want is not really what you want. It's what you've been conditioned to want. Because a free person is looking out for his DNA. Protect himself. Love himself. Why do you think religion don't like when one of their religious people marry an atheist? Because it's going to take the flock. Jews don't want Jewish people to marry Christians. Don't mess up the Jewish religion. They don't advocate that. They might smile at you. <laughs> they ain't into that. Because you came to messing up the doctrine in its purest form. When you mix cream with coffee, the cream weakens the coffee. In fact, I don't even consider it coffee anymore. It's some kind of cocoa. When you mix things, it weakens whatever was the original. So how can you love black people and you want to race, race mix, it will weaken you as a people. Because it destroys your DNA and it makes you something that you're not. It takes you out of yourself. You are no longer black. Then we begin to fall into that category of mulatto. And mulattoes are not wanted. Let me, let me say, not wanted, wanted. But they're not, they look, they, they are looked upon as, you know, mixed. Mixed breed dogs don't have a value like purebred dogs. Go to the next video, hold on. <laughs> okay. The conclusion. I can guarantee you, this is this is the, the end. Some of y'all probably stopped a long time ago. Because you're angry. I'm sorry, hey, you want to get angry, that's, that's your business. That's your business. There is a border around America. And there are, you, you're supposed to protect your border. If you attempt to cross into America and you have the border patrol there and they tell you to stop and you don't, they will kill you. You know why? Because America, the nation, is protecting its DNA. Its sovereignty as a nation. And when you come here illegally, they call you an alien or an immigrant. You don't belong here yet until you become a citizen. And once you become a citizen, wherever you came from, you are no longer a Mexican. You are no longer a Brazilian. You are no longer a Canadian. Wherever you immigrated from, you become an American. And you can practice a little of your culture here. But America is not Mexico. You will not turn America into Mexico. You will not turn America into China. You will not turn America. Those who are in leadership position, their responsibility is to protect America. So don't get it twisted. So if you are a black person, you are supposed to be African. You're supposed to be learning your blackness. You're not supposed to be trying to get white. But some of y'all do. 
you straighten out your hair, you get these old crazy nose down and, and thin your lips, bleach your skin. You're not trying to protect your DNA. You're trying to protect your massa DNA, like I said before. You don't understand that concept, do you? Those who love America, right now, those who love America know that English is the standard. When they talk about, let's bring in Spanish. Spanish, that don't, that, that's not, that's secondary. The language of the United States is English. That's it. Regardless of the melting pot. You came to America, English speaking country, and you should submit to speaking English. Point blank. This is America. If America allows Spanish or any other language to get a foothold, any other religion, because this is supposed to be a Christian nation, then it is no longer America. America is not what it, what it was meant to be by the forefathers. And that's why a lot of white people are upset. And you should be upset. But see, you don't get upset. White people looking out for themselves. They don't want to be tainted. But see, they ain't never been nobody's slave. But you don't mind being tainted because you still carry that same slave mentality. You never owned a nation. You never ran nothing. The only thing you know about is follow your master, just like a dog. I'm not saying that we dogs, but you know how pets do. They follow you all over the yard and because you that master, they look up to you. They depend on you to, for food and water and everything. And that's how we look up to white people. And white folks, a lot of these people, they like that. They like for us wagging our tails and clapping our hands like for them, like we're a damn seal. But somebody like me makes them upset because I'm just as free as your ass is. And it makes them scratch their head. What's wrong with this guy? Why is he so angry? Because he want, he thinks that I'm going to be like you. A pet. A slave. Somebody who won't protect himself and his DNA and his people. So, I'm a mystery. And I'm not behaving properly. properly. I have a mental defect. There's nothing wrong with you. Because you're willing to suck his penis, lick his butt, and keep him happy. I don't want him happy. Because to keep him happy means there will be more murder, more deceit, more lies. The earth should be tired of that. Even a lot of Caucasian people are tired of it. They're sick of living. And the white man did this. and They're tired of it. The white man. The root of the problem is white folks. In power. You got a lot of these stupid, silly Caucasian people trying to jump in on black folks because they scare their own brothers and sisters. We are nothing but the leaf and the branches of this tree that white supremacy created. In order to kill a tree, you got to dig up the roots, kill a trunk, and the trunk and the root is white people in power not living a hundred years ago. They living today, but you scared of them. They freed, so-called freed the slaves, didn't give us nothing, just freed us. Then we didn't have no choice but to go right back into slavery. But now it's voluntar voluntarily uh, slave. Gave us nothing. The reason why I exist because of what white folks done in the past. And these Caucasian people in leadership position, you free the slaves, but you did not dismantle the system white supremacy created in order to harass and oppress us. It's still in effect. And if racism exists, racism comes from out of system, desire from out of white supremacy, then the whites in power 
and whites are in power, then who do you think doing all this? It ain't the white folks in minority. It's got to be the white folks in major the majority. Directly, indirectly. Some of them are straight out racist. Then some of them have been conditioned. And it's just, they just acting to protect their DNA, who they are. To make sure that they stay on top. You don't give old money to strangers. You keep old money in the family. Ain't that right? When the people at McDonald's, when they die, they pass their money to their children. They don't pass it to you and me. They ain't passing nothing to us. Nothing. So how have things changed? Y'all live in a Mickey Mouse fairy tale world. You ain't getting nothing. And you're satisfied with having nothing. You're sick in the mind. What is wrong with you? Because your booty is a little hot. Oh, come on now. Buy one of them plastic things or something. You're so lonely. I got to write, again, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. It don't bother me none. But I'm going to tell you the truth. And you will always run into the truth, because the truth not going nowhere. They know the truth. You the one silly and lost. You the one deaf, dumb, and blind. You the one the slave. You want a relationship, but you don't get nothing except some penis and some vagina. They get it all. They get to protect their DNA. They get to keep who they are. And you lose everything because you need some damn love. What kind of love is that when the person that you want to love don't give you nothing? Well, he bought me a Cadillac last week. They make the Cadillac. Black folks don't make Cadillac. Whatever you got, they make it. You his slave. You don't get nothing out of the relationship except a penis. Or a nasty vagina that they probably didn't wash. <laughs> I didn't even have to go there, did I? <laughs> Woo. But anyway, that's it. Take it or let it alone. I'm not trying to convert you to nothing. I'm not trying to save you. I'm just bringing you the reality on the earth. No more, no less. It's your business. You can do whatever. But you can't say that you never was told nothing. Because some of us don't think for ourselves. So I'm going to think a little bit for us. You listen to white folks, why don't you listen to your little brother? Think about this. Let it, let it simmer in your brain. Think about it. Thank you for listening. This is your brother Tariq Ibn Ra. Thank you for being with me in this long uh, hall here, this wasn't it. The Reality's Temple on Earth. Till next time, y'all. Thank you.